Hi everybody, it's Dara. I'm looking for a man card. These two obviously aren't it, but I did want to show you just some of my other cards before we get to the man card. Um, this card on the left isn't mine. This is by Julie at Ready Set Stamp, and she really inspired me to make this card over here. As you can see, they both have three squares that are covered. Um, they both have flowers. And Julie has sequin ribbon here, and I just used Rick Rack and covered my Rick Rack with uh, glossy accents. And I added a little rub on that said, Think Thinking of You. And so she totally inspired me to make these cards. Okay. This card right here, it says Precious along the bottom, and it has this silvery ribbon here. The paper is from um, DCWV, and I just thought it was so pretty, I didn't really want to cover it with anything. Whoops, upside down. This card here is going to go to my mother. Strawberries are her absolute favorite fruit. Um, so I got the accent of the strawberries along here and put a little strawberry sticker up top up on dimensionals and added this nice green ribbon with a bow. This card um, was a labor of love. I have some bling along the side and the flower. And you may notice on the flower that I have an eyelet. And the eyelet's actually backwards. I prefer the back side of eyelets rather than the front side. I'm not quite sure <laughs> why I like it that way, but I do. And I kind of tore the paper up top here, so I added this extra um, sticker here with the flowers on it. So it makes the card a little bit too busy, so I'm not real thrilled with it. But I thought I'd show my mistakes as well as my um, awesome inspiration for man cards. First up from the man card is this. It says, remember, has a navy blue ribbon with a bow and the text here is from um, my Sherlock Holmes book. Okay, I have these two cards right here. This one has no sentiment and this one over here says happy birthday. Um, they both have uh, notes, musical notes on them. This here is just flat and distressed along the edges. This one over here I wrinkled up quite a bit before I glued it down. I think I really like the wrinkling better than this over here with the flat. Um, my husband says it's not a man card because it has flowers with little pearls in the middle. So, back to the drawing board. This next card I made has a knight riding a horse, which I don't think you can see real well, so I wasn't too thrilled with how that came out. Although I did use a red button, and this is a rub on that says good times. Um, my middle son recommended me put the red good times here. He thought that that would finish the card off nicely. That's still not the man card I'm looking for, though. Here's a man card that my youngest helped me make. This is, again, the musical notes has black ribbon along here and a black and silver button on it and then he said it needed to have skulls so he and I stamped these three skulls in red and then trimmed the edges in red also and then rounded the corners with this corner rounder punch. So this could be a nice man card I think. There is not too much going on. It's kind of dark though. I find that man cards are kind of uh, depressing. But Here's my husband's favorite. It just is a gray background, and I used paper from the Old World Stack by DCWV. Um, I used a square punch and cut out these squares, which I put on end to make them into diamonds. Um, they have pretty boring brown buttons, and then they have this uh, fiber along the middle. My husband likes this of all the other man cards I've made, and he says that what's so great about it is it already has a mustache. <laughs> Go figure. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll have more cards for you soon.
Thank you.